Hi, I'm Tano. Welcome to my channel, the place where I talk pop culture and reality TV. The opinions in this video are strictly mine and they are just that, opinions. Don't dwell on situations, don't hate on people. Today, we're talking Love Island. So let's dive in. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Over the past three years of watching Love Island, something has caught my eye. Many of the contestants are on the show for fame and following. Love Island has been a big hit in the UK over the years and has spread to other countries, including Australia and USA. So our following can grow massively. Before the Islanders enter the villa, some preparations must be made on their part. This would include their outer appearance. After the person has appeared on the show, only then would we make notice they did some work. After the person has appeared on the show, only then we may notice they did some work. Or we may not notice at all. This season, I have noticed one in particular with lip fillers, as they do look unnatural. In my opinion, taking something in its natural state and adding something unnatural to it and calling it natural it's baffling to me. The comparison to the befores and afters of the individuals is unrecognizable for most. Islanders are well known for cosmetic procedures and many past Islanders have entered the villa with cosmetic procedures done. Okay, um, what we're going to do is just the most gentle filler work because she's so beautiful and she really doesn't need much you can see this cheek's a little bit higher, this jaw's a little bit higher, more developed, and we have tear troughs. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear troughs today. We're going to lift this eyebrow slightly. We're going to just symmetricalize the jaw and the cheek, and that is it today. And that's all we need to do. So, where can you see how you've got the line there? Oh, it's gone. And you can see this way, it's gone. The cheek, you can see it's less wide here, which is anteriorized you a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I've just softened the jaw a little bit here and a little bump that's in there. Jess has definitely made her presence in the villa be known. The 22 year old injected her forehead in fear of having wrinkles on the show. Jess states she has been getting lip fillers since 18 and migrated to her cheeks, claiming it's giving structure to the face. Jess has definitely been in the spotlight for her curves, she claims. I have a bit of Botox and filler, but nothing too much. I had my hair, lashes, and nails done too. Just the standard prep for a girl. There are so many past islanders who have got some procedure done, including Ekinsu, Tasha, Andrew, and Coco. With some, you barely notice, but when you compare to a before and after over the years, there is definitely a dramatic effect, which says you definitely need to look a certain way to be on camera and in the spotlight. A following can be achieved by appearing on Love Island. But for those taking these steps, at what cost? Bye, I'm Tano. Thanks for checking my channel. Do subscribe and I will see you on the next one.